Dude, you're still up there? Get the fuck out of here. Oh. Fuck my shit. God damn. So it took me forever, but I finally got a clean quad feed. And really, if you want to get a quad feed, I mean, the best way to do it is I'm pretty broke right now. I just quit my job. So you should actually just pay me to use your account and get the quad feed for you. The point of the video is just to show you that it's persistence. It's going to be basically a little montage. It's going to be a bunch of little clips that were like this close to getting clean quad feeds that I got before I got a clean quad feed. And this isn't even all of them. They're like a bunch of split quads and like split five ons that I got also. But after a little montage, I'm going to go ahead and give uh, like some really solid tips that should help you out. The stuff that helped me out the most. If you want to get straight to that, just fast forward about two minutes and 30 seconds into the video. Get red. Oh, I fucked it up. No. No. Fuck. Holy shit, you guys camp. No, I'm going to have that first guy. No. And ironically, I finally got my first quad feed here and then it glitched and then didn't count towards this weapon variant challenge. Are you kidding me, dude? I just got a fucking quad feed. First thing is just persistence. But then on top of that, um, if you want to get a quad feed, like you have to play aggressively. You can't just sit back there crouching in a corner and play like really slow and campy. You have, you know, you kind of have to play aggressively if you want to get one with a sniper. Playing aggressive, you kind of have to just not worry at all about your KD or anything like that. When you're playing aggressively as a sniper and you're first learning, a lot of time your KD is just going to suck. Because if you're trying to get clips, trying to get like a quad feed, it's kind of like a high risk, high reward thing. Like a lot, like a lot of times, usually if you miss one shot, you're pretty much dead. And you're going to miss a lot of shots, especially when you're first learning. And since playing in this game, playing passively and more campy is very effective. When you're trying to play aggressive like this, you're going to get killed a lot. But like I had a game, one game where I only got seven kills, but I got a nice little triple feed in there and it ended up being the play, like the kill cam play of the game thing at the end of the game where I was by far the worst player out of everyone. And that's just kind of how I play, you know, like I would almost rather get a clip than get a good KD. I'm not worried about my KD at all. I'm just trying to, you know, play aggressively and kind of like go for the home run, like go like all or nothing type of mentality. I would suggest using the car or using like the MK2. You can do it with the AX50 as well, but it's going to be harder since the fire rate is so slow. Although it might kind of be easier if you're sitting back in a long sight line towards the enemy's spawn and you can kind of pick them off as they're coming out of their spawn. But I think using probably the Car 98 would be the best way to get a nice, to get a sniping quad feed. And the best game mode to do this in is Hardpoint. Look at any of the good YouTubers or streamers who just snipe 
playing Modern Warfare, they're going to play Hardpoint. And they're mostly using the car, probably the MK2 as a secondary. And the reason you want to play Hardpoint is because it's definitely the, one of the fastest game modes. It's similar to that other game mode is like it, except in that one, they after a while you can't respawn. Hardpoint isn't like that. You can just respawn over and over again. It's pretty much the fastest game mode. Um, and camping isn't so effective in this game mode because the hard point moves all over on the map. So depending on where the hard point is, a lot of the power positions on the map or the camping positions aren't as effective. And one of the main reasons that this is the best game mode to play for getting like quick sniping clips is because the spawns are very predictable and the spawns are usually one-sided. One team on one side of the map and the other team maybe not all the way across the map but like if the on the other side of the hard point basically so you can pretty much you just have to learn where the enemy teams are spawning and then you want to get in close to their spawn and you want to because you got to play really aggressively pretty much to get quad to get like a clean quad peaks you have to get the shots really fast or the kills really fast within each other so you want to get like right up within where they're spawning so the enemies are going to be really close together and then it's also easy to get kind of flanks and get in positions where the enemy isn't going to suspect you, especially if you're right up in their spawn. They're not really going to expect you to be up close like that. And learning the spawns is kind of just playing a lot. Part, partly you're going to be thinking about it, like consciously thinking like, okay, when our team is over here and we're hard, holding the hard point, the enemy team is spawning here. A lot of it is just learning it intuitively just by playing a lot. It'll become like second nature. Develop like a sixth sense for where they're spawning and not just where they're spawning, but just just spots where the enemies are likely to be and where people kind of hang out a lot. Another thing is like with sniping, obviously a lot of it is aim, but in this just your positioning and knowing the spawns and knowing where the enemy is going to be are pretty much more important than your aim. And they're kind of, that's what's going to make your aim good too. Since in this game, you're mostly quick scoping. And what it's not really like you're scoped in and then you're aiming. It's more just uh, you're centering and like where your reticle position is. So you're always keeping your reticle. If you're using the car, the car, you have to make sure you're always keeping your reticle up high, at least with that upper chest height or head height. And then you want to have your reticle in positions where enemies are likely to be. So your aim is more the pre-aiming than the actual aiming in this game. Concentrate on just your pre-aiming and where your reticle is when you're moving around the map and not looking for enemies. Really put a lot of thought into your pre-aiming and keep your reticle up high if you're using the car. I mean, one of the most important tips I could give you is when you're taking your shots, just go for the shot. Like go for the quick scope or go for the really quick shot. Don't kind of hesitate and worry about trying to get the shot perfect. It's gonna make it slow. A lot of times it'll make you miss too. If you watch really good players, they just always go for really quick shots and they go for just a lot of like instant quick scopes. I notice this with myself a lot. I'll try to take too long to aim and I'll because I worry about missing too much. But you really have to train yourself just to go for the shots. Like it'd almost be good to have a practice day, you know, spend like an hour where all you do is just quick scope and you really focus on trying to take like really fast shots. Like even if you scope in and adjust it, just try to get a really quick adjustment every time and just flip the shot. These are the things that really helped me out the most. And, you know, let me know in the comments if there's other things that helped you out. And then the last thing I want to add is just keep in mind that getting like a clean quad feed or five on or six on or whatever you're trying to do, a lot of it is just luck. I mean, a lot of times you'll get you'll get a like a split. A lot of times you'll get like a split quad, and the kills will be so fast and so quickly together, but it'll still be split. So the fact that if it's split or not is still just kind of random luck. So just keep that in mind.